Let's give you a live look from San Francisco right now where a team of weather experts with the U.S. Navy are here in town for Fleet Week. They play a crucial role in making sure military operations are not impacted by weather events happening all around the globe on a constant basis. Brian Hackney gives us a first-hand look at their crucial work. From tropical depression to Category 5 hurricane in less than three days, the winds of war are nothing compared to Mother Nature on the high seas. Storm systems, um, tropical systems can spin up very quickly, so it's our job to uh, mitigate that and uh, give our commanders a heads up so we have time to take appropriate action. We are on the USS Tripoli LHA-7. The USS Tripoli is an American-class amphibious assault ship docked in San Francisco carrying F-35B jets and helicopters across the world's oceans. It's crucial to have uh, our team on board. That crucial team, gentlemen, good morning, is MeTalk, meteorologists and oceanographers Navy! in the Navy. And with the perils you can face at sea, no wonder they have some of the best meteorologists on board using some fairly familiar sounding equipment. Some of our uh, basic technical tools are our anemometer, uh, barometer. Here's the temperature, the dew point, the, the wet bulb. And as analysts, we take an observation every hour. On board, Navy ships have constant access to sophisticated weather forecast models. A weather forecast is very important for wind, seas. If we're off by five, ten knots, it can mean honestly destruction of the ship or it can honestly lead to safety of navigation. It can still happen. In 2018, a fighter jet went over the side of the USS Roosevelt in rough seas. Imagine the challenge. At any time, the Navy has the capability of deploying as many as 50,000 sailors aboard 100 different ships and on board as much as $10 billion worth of military aircraft. And boy, that has to be protected. We keep uh, ships, people, assets safe, and then we exploit the environment to give our forces a uh, tactical advantage. It's an exciting challenge for young airman Dwayne Hayes. I'm from Florida, so being out west was such a big, big move, and I've never been on a ship, so it's been very, very exciting. And Dwayne and the other thousand aboard the ship here for Fleet Week say, Hello, San Francisco! And one more thing. They're well prepared for any winds that will inevitably spring up.